So don't ever think God approves of anyone outside of Jesus Christ. Now, this is not discrimination. This is not being, you know, judgmental. This is the truth. You bring me one human being that lived anywhere near Jesus Christ of Nazareth lived. Impossible. You bring me, whoever you want to bring. Come on, let's go. I am ready. Show me a life of a religious figure, of a philosophical figure, of a political figure. Anyone, you bring me anyone. No one ever lived like Jesus. The holiness, the purity, the perfection, the excellence, the glory of Jesus Christ. No one. And we've said this before, and I'll say it again. If anybody wants to compare the Lord Jesus with any other religious figure, or who, whichever that figure is, let's say I'll go with you and let's compare. But I will tell you this, my dear friend. If you say your religious figure came with morals, with ethics, with values, with principles, okay, no problem. The ultimate, your religious figure could have achieved in their life on earth was to change a bad person into a good person with those teachings with those morals with those values the ultimate they could have achieved was to change a bad person into a good person jesus christ of nazareth all glory to his holy name he did not come to change a bad person into a good one he came to change a dead person into a living one in this there is no comparison Everyone falls short. Jesus stands alone, so unique, so highly exalted and elevated beyond every religious figure and every human being. He is the only one that said, if you believe in my word, even if you die, you will live. But if you take my body and drink my blood, you will live in me forever. Jesus promised life and eternal one too. No one ever dared to promise humanity eternal life except Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, in this alone should raise a humongous question mark to you, my dear friend. You need to find out more about Jesus Christ. Why is he so unique? Why is he so special? Why, why, why? 12 eyewitnesses and 70 others who witnessed the Lord, lived with him, walked with him, saw everything heard everything, documented everything. They're not, they are not obligated to falsify things. In fact, they died for what they wrote and they died for what they believed in and never blinked their eyes twice. Even when the sword was placed on their necks, they never denied Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Isn't this also another question mark? Why would they do that? Are they so ignorant? To die for someone who is a false prophet or a, or a holy man unless they died for the one who said I am that I am the true living God revealed in the flesh came to visit earth heaven embraced earth when Jesus was born